Hello, everybody. Hello to our class today, a teacher lesson with you in this new lesson. So today we have a new lesson and today we are going to talk about unit number four, our intermediate level, unit number four. And we are going to talk about sleep. Yeah, guys. We are going to talk about a sleep, yes. We are going to talk about a sleep. So pay attention, guys. And the, this unit is unit number four, and the title is Early Bird and I Owls. Early Birds and I Owls. So, what is your best time of the day? Is the starting point we are going to focus to you today. Now, and the objective for this class, guy, is to compare sleep habits and see the lesson grammar in context. We are going to see the this lesson is very important for us because we are going to talk about sleep and habits. Okay, that is very interesting. Very interesting, guy. Now let's start. Let's start making some questions to you guys. I'm going to make some questions to you. Do you have more energy in the morning or at night? When do you have more energy? Do you ever take naps in the afternoon? Do you? You tell me. At what time of the day do you do your, your best work? When do you have more energy? In the morning? Afternoon? Evening? Night? Okay. There are some questions we have to answer um, to, to check. Now we are going to show some expressions. Uh, we are going to talk about four people from different part of the of the world. Uh, we are going to make an interview to them. So let's do it together, guys. Let's do it together. Pay attention, guys. So we have the number one, guys. The number one. Okay. So we let's talk about uh, Teresa from South Africa. Mieko from Japan, the other one is Kayo from Brazil, and Richard from the US, okay? So we have four people. We are going to talk about them. So let's do it together, guys. Let's do it together. The first one is Teresa from South Africa. Teresa from South Africa. Let's imitate Teresa, what Teresa have to say. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. After I finish my workout, I head to the office. I always get there before any of my colleagues arrive. I suppose I'm a morning person. Do you know what does mean morning person, guys? So pay attention. Uh, we are going to make a review about this. Now let's talk about the number two. Is Caio from Brazil? Caio from Brazil. Listen carefully. Ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. So I guess I'm a later late riser. Until I've had my coffee, I such a grudge. I'm not very approachable right after I wake up. Mm. Do you know what does mean a late riser? Mm. Pay attention to this guy. Pay attention to this. So we have a new word, late riser. Late riser. So pay attention. Later we are going to define this word. Let's go to the next class, to the next uh, participant. We have Meiko. Meiko from Japan. Meiko from Japan. Meiko says, I'm a power napper. While I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five-minute nap at my desk. After I have a little sleep, I feel great the rest of the day. That is Mako. Hmm. Do you understand what does mean a power nap? Hmm. Well, we are going to see that, guys. And the last one. The last one, guys, the last one is Richard. Could you tell me? <laughs> you listen to me? Richard. Let's talk about Richard. What Richard have to say. Let's talk about Richard. Richard says, I don't get much done until it gets to be late afternoon. 
Then I usually get a spur of energy. I can concentrate best after everyone else has gone to bed. I said, I'm a real night owl. Mm. What does it mean that guy? Night owl? Do you understand? Well, we are going to uh, practice some of this. The first one is workout. Guys, no, first one is workout. What does it mean workout? Is an exercise routine. A workout is an exercise, uh, one, two, three, <laughs> an exercise routine. Word number two is colleagues. Colleagues, a person one works with. So it's a, like a co-workers, somebody with you work with, colleagues. A uh, grouch, a grouch, grouch. Okay, it's a person who is often irritable and in a bad mood. Somebody who is irritable in a bad mood. So let's continue defining sneak. Sneak. Uh, do something without uh, other people knowing. When you do something without other people knowing. The other word is sport. Sport. It's a short but powerful rush of something. A short but a rush of a powerful rush of something. Um, now let's uh, define some of the words that we learn in this lesson. Number one is a morning person. What does it mean a morning person, guys? A morning person is someone who gets up early and feel his or her best in the morning. So a money person is somebody who they has a lot of energy in the morning. Are you a morning person guy? Number two, a late riser. Late riser. It's someone who prefers to sleep in and not get up early. <laughs> a late riser. I know somebody, some of my students, I don't I won't say her name. But when she watch this video, she's going to know a late riser because she's always sleeping. A late riser is someone who prefers to sleep in and not get up early. Now let's go with the other one. It's a power napper. Power napper? Oh, power napper is someone who feels better after taking a very short nap. A very short nap is when you sleep for a short time during the day. Okay. Well, the other one is a night old. Night old. It's someone who feels best at night and goes to bed very late. <laughs> very late. A night old. The word here, yeah, let me check with this camera. This camera is early bear. What does it mean the expression early bear? Well, early bear is a morning person. Early bear, a morning person, a night old. Somebody who likes to be late at night. Okay, so guys, this is the introduction of our class today. This is the unit number four of our book. And then we are going to introduce this, talking about this kind of people relate about sleep. So let's continue in the next video. We're going to continue talking about habits and routine about sleep. Teacher, I'll nice with you. Bye-bye. Institute. Real English Institute is the good.